Welcome back to another Black Lightning Review Amped Up. Today, we're reviewing Black Lightning, episode, what is this, two now? Two. Mm -hmm. Three. 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 Okay, wow, we're moving through this. Mm -hmm. Master Lowry. I'm a, well, offended. I'm a little offended by that title. I'm, a, I'm very offended. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he played his role. <laughs> <laughs> All two minutes of it. All two minutes, yep. So, uh, yep, there's a new sheriff in town. Jefferson is no longer principal. He has to answer to Principal Lowry taking his place. God. I don't know how Jefferson did it because I had to fight the urge to punch the TV when I saw this dude. I was like, man, I, when I saw the principal, I was like, I just want to take your lunch money right take now. Take all your lunch money. Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Spoiler alert. This dude is smelling himself right now. Smelling all his dirty streak bill draws. <laughs> he going to fuck up. He going to need to run to Jefferson. Jefferson going to save his day. And then I was wrong about you, Jefferson. Blah blah blah, and try to work. Yeah, I don't, just, I don't just, know. I don't, wrap that shit. Up. I don't <laughs> say anything is predictable about Black Lightning. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to predict much about the show, mm -hmm. but that's what I love about it. So let's move in. Talk about these. We have we have a lot of good characters this episode. Uh, mm -hmm. So I mean, everyone's doing their thing. Everybody's doing their thing. Let's talk about these comic book characters that just showed up. I don't know. Oh, shit. Well, actually, <laughs> I, think, I think one was from the comics. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's talk about her first. Our resident comic book guy, what you got on first? All right, so for all you uh, people wanting outsiders, we're getting one step closer. So today we got introduced to a character named Dr. Helga J. Okay. And she's working with Lynn uh, to fix the metahuman problem. She's the doctor who cooked to Kente to 11 people. You know, had all their feet chopped off. I yeah. Mean, was Hannibal Lecter not available? Like, I guess not. What's going on? Okay. So, for those of you that are initiated in the comics, Dr. Helga Chase was a, in the comics, was a doctor from the country of Markovia. She, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's coming. She gave, she gave one of the characters of the Outsider's name, Geoforce, his powers. She also gave Geoforce's sister her powers. His sister is Tara from the Teen Titans. Who, so, who had a disgusting pedophilic relationship with uh, Deathstroke. That's a long story. We're getting, we're getting closer and closer to an Outsider show. And, and I like that they pulled this character and made it make sense because in the comics she was known to, you know, mess with metahumans and give people powers. Now in here she is she studied metahumans or the protein genome or whatever they called it. Yeah. So she's she's experienced in this type of in this type of research and, and study. So they they're doing their homework. Yep. I like that. So Lynn is definitely going to have some tension in the office. Uh, I want to see where this goes because it's not just coming from the top. It's coming from someone right beside her as well. More than that, Lynn has a villain now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Think, think about it. Now they all have a villain. She has an equal. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wouldn't call her in. I mean, I mean, in, in the field of science, in, in their field, that's her villain. Jefferson has, you know, Tobias, Tobias and and uh, Jennifer has a painkiller. Like a chicken head friend. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Amitha has a... Uh, a love life. <laughs> and, and the church. <laughs> <laughs> Ago and it looks like it's coming to a head. Like she, she feeling herself. She got the big girl pants on and uh, she feeling herself on all fronts. I can take money from anybody. Okay, wait till you roll up on that wrong one. Yeah. And the part that gets me is that shyster, that holy roller at the church, mm -hmm. that pimp in sheep's clothing. He is scamming the shit. I, I, he looked like he got a GoFundMe for a jet. Like <laughs> this, I don't trust this preacher for some reason. You know who you remind me of? Creflo Dollar. Creflo A. Dollar. If you're not from Atlanta, well, yeah. congratulations, because you ain't coming with his slide. <laughs> and if you go to his church, we can dance anytime you want. He's going to rip this robe off, and it's going to be a dollar sign on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> it will be all off. <laughs> money, 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 money. 
<laughs> but, but, follow us here. But right. he but he knows that she yeah. well, she's stealing money from the criminals yeah. and he's condoning this. Yeah, well that's why he's basically that's this follow us here. Alright, so first they gotta get the kids out of uh, out of the government facility. We understand that. But he's milking us for more. So the community center is about to close and now he needs more money and he knows there's a Robin Hood figure going around just dropping money at the doorstep. And you know, the Lord wants him to have a five-story house. <laughs> yeah, because that's the way he can have a hole in each bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, y'all who don't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is, and this is Love Life is also doing something. We'll see what happens. We got Grace Choi. Mm -hmm. Oh, she back, y'all. She, she back. back. Oh, God, Grace Damn, Choi. she looking fine. And she was behind the bar mm -hmm. wearing that flannel shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Like a sexy lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, so let's talk about Baby Phoenix. Uh, whew, okay. You mean, oh, God. <laughs> baby, baby Phoenix is like they heard of met a Professor Xavier today. <laughs> she didn't meet Professor Xavier. She met Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> Morpheus took her inside the Matrix, a.k.a. the hair salon, <laughs> and showed her. There is no spoon. <laughs> there is no creamy crack. <laughs> Leave the creamy crack alone. Right, yeah, so it was, it was, by the way, if the message wasn't obvious when she was spitting that gab about the hair salon, y'all probably need to go back and watch it again. <laughs> I love the uh, the fact. I love the me exactly. I love the message that they give uh, in this show. I mean, like they do base it in reality yeah. and shows how the movement got started and some of the basis of the civil rights movement. So the fact that she gave that nugget about the hair salon was amazing. Yeah. It's just pillars of the black community. Mm -hmm. So this is everywhere. And the fact that it was Maxine Shaw. Mm -hmm. We got living single alumni showing up. <laughs> you know, been down. Been Four to go. Y'all better show this show some respect. Five if you count trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, do right. we count trip? All right. I don't know. Well, no? Okay. <laughs> you, will not, you will not succeed in this life unless you pay homage to living single. All right. So as we mentioned, uh, Jens, Morpheus, Professor Xavier, whatever. Uh, what's, what's her name? Pr Pr Perenna. Perenna. She's a psychic that uh, helps uh, Jen focus her power and her energy. But she... She's, and she's been saying what we all been saying along. Her power is connected with her emotions. Right. So in order for her to channel her power, she has to be able to channel her emotions. Right. With that uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> screaming fit she keeps throwing. Although yeah. she's not in the comics, so this is a brand new made up character. And I love that Gabby, she came from Gabby's request. Mm -hmm. Basically, so, so she could catch her. <laughs> <laughs> so she might be a hitter. <laughs> No, she was a she was a, a meta that can't be good catch. Speaking of what this awful says is metas have been running around for a long time in this world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I figure she's about the same age as Jefferson. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go on to Mister Inspector Gadget. No, I was, let's, let's bring up the entire light skin dynasty on this. First of all, Professor Henderson, who still Professor. They, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 Not a damn sorry, <laughs> sorry, Henderson. The uh, police officer Henderson. You know, they say the Dead Sea is the saltiest place on the world until Henderson was born. <laughs> Let it go, okay? <laughs> so you a detective, you didn't figure out who Black Lightning was, the guy who you go next to every day. I don't understand why he's so mad. Because he, 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 he couldn't figure it out. That's why. Like, That's well, well, get good. Like, what, <laughs> what is your problem? Like, so quit being so salty. And then your light skinned brother in, in arms. Nelly Jr. <laughs> Walk the fly. As far as I'm concerned, it's been bitch made since this started. First of all, I ain't survived this bitch. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hold this receipt while I burn you. <laughs> what? And, and, let, and let's get on that. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. It was cute with the whole slapping him while he was playing chess thing. And then the burner receipts, it's like, dude, like, this, like, this isn't a lesson. This is just abuse. And it's not even, like, hilarious or funny. It's, it's lame. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that he's taking it is even lamer. And no, wait, before that, so Tobias sitting there crying about cyanide. You sent her without backup to a hitter. It was two hitters versus hitters. She just did farewell. Oh well, she should have hit hard. It's not Khalil's fault because exactly, if you if exactly. you would have sent him his backup, I can see that. So uh, Inspector Gadget caught Tobias. Uh, he they got him. I honestly thought he was going. I thought he was going to die that moment. Good job, bro. 
right. So <laughs> he, gave, he gave himself away. Yeah. My thing is, he was in a mausoleum. Whose mausoleum was that? I think we'll figure out this out. Unless we did something. Cause it was like a, cause it was small, like a baby. Uh, it couldn't have been his sister. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, unless we did something, let us know. All right. Last thing I want to talk about that fight scene. Uh, Anissa going down there, uh, taking the money from the bad guy. Stealing guys. from people. You still stealing from people. This is the se second Black Lightning episode <coughs> where the fight choreography has been on point. She was doing video game combos. Punching people in the air and then knocking them across the room. It it's it's refreshing on this network to get fight scenes that I can say can can stand up to what you would see in a film or on Netflix. And first of all, it's well lit so we can see what the hell is going on. Exactly. exactly. Like like I was getting tired of the CW choreography fight where everybody dances and like lifts a leg because they want to <laughs> like obey the, the obvious trip. Yeah. Like, I was getting tired of that. Now and my, but my main question involves, well, Gamby, although he wasn't in hitter mode most of this episode, what's going to happen now that, oh, that uh, you know, principal, Vice Principal Thickness is showed up on I the doorstep? I think they got, a, they got a letter on the team. They got a letter on the team. So we'll see where this goes with Gamby too. and uh, Vice Principal. Uh, that was how nobody's like questioning where she is. Like, uh, they all up in, in Jefferson shit. But like, mm -hmm. where's the Vice Principal been? Mm -hmm. Like, that's a good question. Whatever. Right. Like, did she did she go on leave or whatever? Bad <laughs> off or did or is it one of those? I right, no call no show. She fired. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Like Robert, first of all, where's Robert Town? <laughs> yeah, we were missing him. And second of all, nobody's putting up no milk cards for her. <laughs> when that much fire leaves the universe, everybody gonna take notice. Mm -hmm. I know all the, all the kids in school. All the male students are like, where's the vice principal fun? <laughs> Miss Parker, Miss Parker. <laughs> all right, let's close this out. So all in all, I like this episode. We got some development. I see some good stuff coming. I mm -hmm. uh, definitely like uh, Jennifer getting training. I did not see this from Telepath. Mm -hmm. I did not see that coming. You this... are the last dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and you possess the power of the glow, baby. You've been moving along. No one. <laughs> yeah. Acting out of character or doing stupid shit. Yeah. Uh, keep keep her around. I want to see her more. Let's see what else she can do for the team. I mean, you don't have to use her and everything, but I like to see her around. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was pretty much our episode recap review of Black Lightning episode three. Uh, poke around the channel. Uh, see what else we have. Arrow reviews, Flash reviews, all of our other shows. <laughs> yeah, Flash. Flash is the thing. All right. So um, like catch, and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what we missed in the comments. Maybe what, we, what you want us to address next time. And um, peace.